Hello out there, Algebra 2A, and welcome to Lesson 2.4, Graphs of Linear Equations, okay? Um, so I expect you guys to be following along. Um, I will be checking to make sure you have these things done, and really it should be pretty much review. Um, today we are going to look at how do you graph linear equations. Uh, we're going to see a few different examples here. Uh, our first examples, okay, they are in the form of y equals mx plus b. If you remember, that is known as slope-intercept form. Why is it known as slope-intercept form? Well, that is our slope, m, and b is the y-intercept, okay? Um, so when graphing from slope intercept form, the first step is always plot your B, plot B. B is what you plot first. Two, step two is use the rise over the run, okay, or your slope. All right, so let's just see here. So step one and number one, plot B. Well, B is five. So what I mean, plot B, is five on the y-axis. So you might want to include that on the y-axis, okay? B always starts on the y, always starts there, always. I'm gonna see someone put it on the x, but it always starts at the y, okay? Then we look at your slope, okay? Um, so it's gonna be five over two. Now that means you're going to rise over five and run two. Now we have a problem, okay? We can't go up one, two, three, four, five, and over one, two. Now we could, but it's gonna be a little challenging. So instead, you can go down one, two, three, four, five, and to the left, two, okay? And then you do that again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. Once you have a few points there, um, you can try and connect them as nicely as you can. Maybe you have a ruler at home or a straight edge or something um, that you can connect the points. Okay, so rise over run. Always check to see if it's a positive slope, it should be going up from left to right. Positive goes up, so that means you did it right. Okay, uh, number two here, negative x minus three. What do we do first? We plot our b on the y, it's negative three, so down to negative three. Our slope, it might be challenging to see here, is negative one, okay? So negative one technically over one. If it's negative, that means you're going to go down and then to the right or you can think backwards up to the left. It's always opposites. So down, over down one, over to the right one. Down, over, you can do the opposite direction. Well, you should have a nice line there, okay? And we'll connect the dots, and that's about it for that one, okay? So down, negative graphs, negative slope, is always down from left to right. Standard form examples. Standard form, you want to solve for mx plus b. Okay, so solve for y equals mx plus b. <clears throat> That's what you need to do first. So step one, solve for y. Okay, um, then you're going to plot your b, plot b, and then you can use your slope. Okay, um, so for number three, x plus y equals one, I'll just rewrite it down here. We need to solve for y. You're always going to be adding or subtracting first, so we subtract x, and then we have y is equal to negative x 
um, plus one, because that's a positive one. Okay, hey, now we have our B, which is one on the y-axis, and our slope is negative one over one, down one and over one. And we connect the lines, okay? Um, if I'm going a little too quick, you can always pause and go back, but I am gonna be checking that you watched these notes and you have these examples. Um, number four. Okay, so we need to solve for y. Okay, so think about how you would do that. We wanna get negative four y by itself. So this is what we wanna get by itself. First, we will move the five x over by subtracting. So we have negative four y um, equals negative five x um, plus 8. Okay, um, just a little note, if there's not a negative sign in front of the 8, it's always going to be a positive. Now, y is not by itself, so it's being multiplied by negative 4. So you're going to then divide everything by negative 4. And I like to divide all three things. Don't forget about all three things. So now we have y is equal to five over four, x, eight divided by negative four, minus two. Okay, well, we're going to start plotting at negative two. We're gonna go up five, one, two, three, four, five and over four, one, two, three, four. Okay, um, we can't quite make it that way the other end, but two points is all you need. So you graph it, and there you go. Okay, so solve for y, plot b, and then do the slope, okay? Um, last few examples, advanced examples. Um, really, we just still want to solve for y. Okay, so I will guide you through these. Maybe you already know how to do it, maybe. All right, so we have 4y minus x minus eight equals zero. Our goal is to get it into y is equal to mx plus b. That's our goal, y equals mx plus b. So let's start by we can move the b over so we'll just move eight over so add eight to each side then we have four y minus x equals eight what can we do next if you said add x that would be great okay so then we have four y is equal to x plus eight then we will divide everything by four. When you're solving, okay, typically you're going to be adding or subtracting and then multiply or divide, okay? So remember that little trick there. Now what this simplifies to is y is equal to x over four is really just one over four x and then plus two. So one over four x plus two. That will be now what we can graph. So we're gonna start where? At two. And it's a positive slope, so I should go up and to the right. So up one over four. Or down one to the left four. And then we can graph it okay number six try it out pause the video here real quick okay um, pause the video try it out and then come back see if you get it right if you get it wrong that's okay i will of course go through it okay do, 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 do. so if you didn't pause and are just ruining the fun for yourself well first you want to add or subtract 
and get the 9y by itself. I'm going to add 9. So 9 is equal to 3x plus 9y. Subtract 3x. So negative 3x plus 9 equals 9y. And then divide by 9. So now it is y is equal to um, negative one third x plus one. Um, three over nine, negative three over nine is negative one third. Did you get that? If you didn't, that's okay. Um, just check to see where you went wrong. Um, down one over three, one to the left three, and we will connect those lines. So a little more challenging, but I know you guys can do it. And of course, we'll practice these in time. Okay. Special types of lines. Okay. Um, anytime you see y is equal to something, that's a horizontal line. We will try and get that into your brains as embedded as possible. So it's just right across at five. So y on the y axis, y on the y, y on the y, y on the y. There we go. Okay. X on the x axis. So x on the x. Um, we're going to just go to five on the x and it's up and down. Okay. So that is always vertical. Y on the Y, X on the X, and that's how you go about it, okay? Um, so really, I hope you have these notes down. Again, I'll be checking them, um, and just have these, have all that stuff for you. Um, also, draw the smiley face, so I know you, you watched till the very end. Smiley face, and yeah, that would be good. You'll get a lollipop if you draw the smiley face. Lollipop, how about that? So, all right, guys. I'm um, good deal. Bring your stuff tomorrow. Thanks.